Hello, this is Ben. Today I'm going to show you my Christmas haul for 2019 of Legos. I'm just starting a YouTube channel, so apologize for bad filming and sh shaking camera. Also, apologize for any background noise, if there is any, because we have family over, so it's kind of crazy. Anyways, let's get to... The the stuff. Before getting into the actual Lego sets I got, thought I might show you these two other things. One is a light, which I, I'm only mentioning because it'll be good for my YouTube channel because it's kind of hard to get good lighting on my disc because there's a shelf towering over it. So, so I'm kind of glad to get this because it'll improve the quality of my videos. The thing is that that is another thing is that directly related to Lego are these I got two of these blocks from my sister. Yes, the the thing about these are that the is that you attach it to your wand. Each of these are supposed to hold sixteen mini figures. With a lot of extra, extra loose mini figures laying around, so this will be a good place to put them, as well as my favorites. So yeah, pretty excited about that. Okay, so now for the actual Lego sets. I'm going to go from smallest to biggest. So first up is an 80th anniversary Lego Batman set that came out this year, Mr. Freeze Bat Cycle Battle. Got this from my brother. Pretty excited about this one. And the minifigures are the thing that's most excited about. Cause I haven't gotten a Mr. Freeze figure in years. And that, the Batman sets I had several years ago, I no longer really care about. So I re it's nice to get a Mr. Freeze in a set that I will care about. And... Excited for Batman and Robin, but not too much since I already have the Batcave Clayface Invasion, which you get both of them. Also, really like how the Bat Cycle splits into two, and that I honestly find that really cool for a set that's only twenty dollars. And there's a lot of accessories too. So next is another 80th anniversary Lego Batman set. This is the Batman, Batwing, and the Riddler heist set. So, pretty excited about this one. Before I can num see the minifigures, I'm not really excited about for this one. I, mean, I already have that Batman. I don't really care for Shazam, especially since there's not the doesn't include the hair piece, and I don't really like this version of Riddler. I think it's the new Fifty Two version. Pretty sure. Commissioner Gordon, I am excited for though. That's a really good version. It's better than the Batman movie one, in my opinion. Excited for the three builds. So, I have to, it's really nice to get as a, a police vehicle. I'm going to need as many of these as I can get. Because it's good for like Arkham Asylum and car chases, I guess. Even though Batman would probably do. do during the chasing. Riddler always has good vehicles. I don't think this is going to be an exception. I'm really excited to this. I have the Riddler Riddle Racer set and that just looks so good. Excited for that. It's cool that the safe has a locking mechanism too. Now well, it's for the Batwing. Batwing, I already have the Lego Batman movie version and I think that one will remain my favorite Lego Batwing ever. This one, I'm still excited for it because one I can put it on on the stand in the Batcave Clayface Invasion set. That would be nice. Also, it's a it's a, a smaller scaled Batwing. I also like that, and it still looks good. And I've never had these city shooters before, so uh, yeah. Um, just, yeah, that safe. I think I just mentioned that. Yeah, I did mention it, but the locking mechanism is cool. 
Oh, and I haven't had Power Blast before, so I guess that Shazam does bring something cool. <clears throat> so those last two sets came out just this year, but the next set I'm going to show you guys is long overdue. This came out in December of 2016, and now it's December of 2019, so I'm three years late into getting this. I still have eight other LEGO Batman movie sets I need to get to complete the collection. This is, like, I think this is the biggest one out of all of them that I'm missing. So, this was one of the things I was really hoping to get for Christmas. I'm not, not really for the Batmobile, although I really like the build and, like, the features. So, really, the reason I asked for this so much was to get Man Bat. Yes, I really, really like Man Bat. It's definitely my favorite ally of Batman. One question is, why is he attacking Batman? I mean, it's really Lego. I mean, after all these years of Batman, I think he would figure out, man, that's not a bad guy by now. <laughs> Guess they got confused when they researched him and saw he went crazy to his man that serum initially, but. Anyways, super excited to get man that. I think he's, a, he's a, the last. In, main ally of Batman I really need to get. Kabuki twins are cool too. I already have the Batman and Robin. I don't really like the Batman movie version of Batman, but getting that Robin never really gets old. Plus the new Bat merch gun accessory that I haven't gotten. So that's cool features. Mo I mean, I'm mainly talking about like all the different modes. It has race mode, monster truck mode, and parallel parking mode. That's just Hilarious. I mean, this is the Batman movie, so pretty excited to put this together. I don't think I'll be as good as the 2006 version I have, but I mean, this is definitely going to be fun. Now, saving the best for last, the 1989 UCS Batmobile. I'm just so excited. I mean, not like really, really excited because I mean, there's not a lot this set can do. It's re I'm just really hoping it's going to look good and it's finally built. Yeah. This is the second biggest Lego set I have at the time of this video. Biggest being the Joker Manor. Thousand three hundred six pieces. Is <laughs> the least build won't be too complicated. I have never had a UCS Lego set before, so. Yeah. Now the back of the box. It's almost two feet long. That's crazy. Really like the feature you turn the thing on the, the engine at the back and the guns just pop out. Doesn't really show that on the box, like the turning mechanism, but it's there. The sliding door is cool and I'm glad. Glad to get that cockpit. Scared, very scared to put on this sticker. I'm really good at boot stickers. It's for the minifigures. I'm excited for the minifigures. It's kind of sad you only get three, but honestly, who else could they have put in this? These are like really the only characters relevant to the 1989 film. Well, at least in relation to the Batmobile. So. Vicky Vale, I don't really care for. I mean, it's nice to get her, but not too excited. Jack Napier, Joker, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I like. Yeah, it's not going to be the best minifigure ever, but definitely a good one. And the Michael Keaton Batman. Really, I'm quite. Everyone, everybody is talking about like the cape and how cool it is. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm mean, not like very, very exciting. The the most any figure I'm definitely the most excited for out of this haul is definitely Man Bat. I mean, I, I know a lot of people disagree with me about this. Just Man Bat's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> but he's, the rubber cape and molded to the mask was going definitely going to be an interesting piece, and I can't wait to see what it looks like. 
um, out of the box. So, yeah, this is my, my Christmas, pretty big Christmas. And pro I'd say it's better than the one I had last year. Got a bunch of Lego sets from The Hobbit last year. So, not net as nearly as big as this. Anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry for that I didn't do a great job filming, but I'll get better over the over time, especially with that new light. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day.